Okay, in the second part of setting up Remote Leaf with Multipop, I just want to point out that outside of the scope of this video, I've already gone ahead and set up standard vanilla Multipod. There's no mystery, there's nothing different. I just want to show you that I've got that set up and running in my lab right now. At the same time, I want to sh uh, just remind you of the configuration details that you want to have ready ahead of time. Now, for the sake of completeness, I am going to do two things here. I'm going to uh, create the layer three out for the remote leaf all over again, just to show you in the context of Multipod, there's really nothing different. Uh, and then I'm going to create the second layer three outs for each of the spines in each of the pods of my Multipod here. I wanna also point out that the first line has already been done as part of the Multipod setup and it's really there for reference. More importantly, that I have to have different loopback addresses on the same spine for uh, each of the layer three outs. Okay, so let's go back to the quick start wizard. We're back on fabric inventory on node or pod setup wizard. Now notice that the wizard will change slightly because it will know that you've got multi-pod going already. So it's going to add uh, an extra button here that you don't see if you don't have multi-pod. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go through the wizard of setting up the remote leaf. I'll go through this very quickly uh, because you'll see that there's really nothing different when you don't have multi-pod. Okay, as you can see here, I'm in pod one. That's where the remote leaf will be home base to. I've already got the tep pool, which you should be familiar with. And the only thing I added, now the mpod nets were already there as part of multipod, but I added a line for my remote leaf nets. And this is the segment where the remote leaf is connecting. And this is just basically telling ACI, look, there's, these are the networks that will be in play. It's okay to go ahead and do what you need to do uh, as long as you're within the scope of those networks. And here, we're gonna just register the node as 105 and give it a name of rleaf-105. And finally here, a quick overview of the layer three out for the remote leaf. This should all look very familiar, OSPF area zero, regular area. Your OSPF configuration may differ from mine, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I've set up the node with a router ID. I've given it a, an IP address so that it can bring up OSPF. Okay, if we look at the Fabric membership, we can see that Remote Leaf 105 has in fact joined the Fabric. In pod one, it has a TEP address in 10.3, everything looks as it should. So let's go back into the wizard. So under node or pod setup, if we scroll to the bottom, we see the second button to say set up multi-pod routed outside. Now I wanna be clear, this has nothing to do with the existing layer three out that you've got going for multi-pod on VLAN four. This is the new added layer three out for purposes on VLAN 5 with Remote Leaf. Okay, so I've uh, filled in all the information for this new Layer 3 out, but I wanna point out a few things. All the stuff on the top is standard. OSPF, again, your OSPF configuration might look a little bit different from mine, but this is the way mine is. Uh, the first thing to point out is I've set up router IDs here with loopback addresses. Now note, the router ID we're already setting up an OSPF adjacency for the standard vanilla uh, multipod. We will keep the same router IDs for that, but we need a different loopback for this particular VLAN 5 uh, configuration. So just keep, you know, keep that in mind that those need to be different, but the router IDs need to be the same as multipod on VLAN 4. And then finally at the end, I've got my, uh, my path with an IP address to bring up this layer three out on VLAN 5 and everything should be good. Okay, outside of the scope of this video, I've gone ahead and set up uh, some connectivity, added some VMs so that we can actually test. I wanna show you now the members of EPGA. I've got an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine at the address of 192.168.1.111. It happens to be on a Microsoft Hyper-V host and it's coming uh, from uh, pod two on VLAN 800. I've got Win8 Silver on 1.42 as part of pod one, my seed pod. And then I've got Win8 Pod 2 at the address of 1.22. And as you can see, it is connected to a host in Pod 1, but on the remote Leaf 105 in VLAN 900. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, test. So I'll start sending some traffic. We can see here that traffic is in fact flowing as we expected. Uh, there, is no, uh, there is no problem. Okay, let's now try uh, to do multicast at the same time. So I've got, uh, I'll set uh, the guy at Win8 Silver to be the multicast server, and he's sending packets, and I will set the listener at uh, Win8 in pod two. And we can see, there we go, we can see the multicast packets at layer two happening just fine while our pings are working just fine in the background. 
So that concludes uh, the demonstration of configuring remote leaf with multipod. Again, I've kept this at a very high level. I've taken the liberty of simplifying things, but I just wanted to leave you with a basic working example and some tips of things that are happening uh, that you need to make sure that your config includes as well. So thank you very much for watching. Good luck.